So guys, um, since we know already everything about this fire and ice mode, uh, it's just, I mean, I, I would just show you a couple of games here. This deck, it's, it's been pretty successful, as you can see. Uh, like, yeah, here we lost, but this was a regular battle because I was getting the silver chest. So we lost that one and and we won a regular battle here but um, yeah since so far in the in the mode in the fire and ice mode this deck works it's a little heavy because if you look at this um, based on my regular deck here instead of the Valkyrie we have an executioner which is one mana uh, cheaper and instead of this, sometimes I have a Valkyrie, sometimes I have a Skull King. So that's, uh, you know, it's a little more balanced and it's more mana friendly, friendly. But in this case, I'm like, what the hell, right? Since a lot of people are going to use overtime decks, uh, it's good to have power, like real power to counterattack those overtime boring, super boring decks. Boring. So what we're gonna do, see, uh, and, and again, we have four, 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 uh, like four troops with four mana. So we are in a good shape. We can hold on until we have time to use these uh, big troops. So let me show you a couple of replays. Uh, for example, like this guy was going uh, over time, but just a little bit. Uh, let me show you this over time. No, over time I'm gonna show you another. Oh, let, let me show you this because why not? And I'm probably gonna do like twice the speed because it's so boring, and you don't wanna deal with uh, four minutes of this. So of course he has arrows. And he's taking care of that, and now he has to wait because that that lane it's complicated for him. But now fire helped him, so he's really happy. But now I'm doing a lot of damage over there, and he has to take care of that skull queen. So now we're attacking. He is using meteor. He can't use meteor on my castle because I'm attacking so much. So, and he's taking advantage of Blizzard and Ice that it's helping his case to only defend the castle, which is crazy. But now we have the Dragon out, and we can use our Inferno on that. His Dragon is level 2 as well, but he's using a Lightning on us. But look at that, we have the Blizzard, so we can save our Dragon for now. And we can keep attacking. Yeah, yeah, you're getting rid of my Dragon, I see that. But look at my top lane. We have a very good push and the Valkyrie is still alive. So we can put stuff down. Yes. And he didn't even touch my castle. He didn't even touch it. So what's the deal? What's the deal with you guys? It's only defending the castle. It's castle crash. You should crash my castle. And we have another example later. But... Um, let me show you against this one. This one is a balanced, very nice deck. So it's a, it's a good competition. It's not just defending. It, it wants to attack me. So I, I like that. And Ragnar, it's, uh, it's a good player. It's in, in our range of trophy over there. Uh, yeah, we're back to 6.6 .6 because that's how it is when you get so high in trophies at 6.8 It's impossible to sustain sustain and uh, Yeah, you lose a couple of battles and you down of 100 trophies We can take care of that Dryad and uh, It's taking care of my skeletons. So now we should put a more more bony at more skeletons and it's good because we're gonna make damage to that shaman and we know where the shaman is. Okay, so freeze to the shaman. And we have to try to protect that phoenix because if phoenix goes 
down with uh, with Inferno or Blizzard, it's it's complicated. So Dryad again is execution. It's fine, but it's not enough, especially now because there is the vampire. So we push back, and we hope. Yeah, Demon killed the Shadow of the Shaman, so <laughs> it didn't kill the the Phoenix. And now he's using that Black Witch on my Skull Queen because he knows how dangerous it is. And now he has the big guy down, so let me try to kill that big guy with my Black Witch. Uh, yeah, more Boneyard. So that guy is out, and we have two Valkyrie now. The the dragon is only six mana, which is amazing. And now it's getting rid of my Valky or one of the Valkyries. But I have a Black Knight out. Very strong deck this one guys. We push everything back with another dragon and with the shaman. And we're in a good shape now. Now the dragon is gonna wake up and kill that executioner. I have a lot by the castle. He can use arrows to stop me a little bit and get rid of that phoenix, but uh, no. Not enough. Clearly not enough. So let me show you another one. After Ragnar. Okay, this one is another balanced deck based on angels. So you see angels and spike statue. So he's gonna try to put the spike statue by my castle. Uh, and they're gonna be, be healed up by the angels so basically impossible to deal with so yeah that's that's what it does and it's it's in a really in, in a hurry to do that so he's using mana ritual to put the stuff down and attack right away pretty aggressive I like that now that's uh, that's just for me to play something but I know it's not gonna be good and I'm gonna use the Black Witch, but it's good because he's switching lane. So that's what it did. And now we have to use the Vampire, and but his stuff is very close to my castle, so that's basically the end. But that Inferno helped us. That Inferno helped us a lot. So now he's trying to go for the upper lane. And, and get like a very strong lane up there. We get his Hollow Knight. And now more Boneyard. Look how lucky we are. Boneyard by the Angel and not by the, the Spike Statue. So that was really lucky. And now more Boneyard to, you know, to make a mess as usual. And our Shaman is gone. And now he's trying with the middle lane. He's trying to find fortune in one lane at least. Black Knight, even though there is the Angel, Black Knight is so powerful that he can take out the the Executioner before the Angel is able to, you know, to even to heal up. But now he has the Dragon and the Angel next to the Dragon. But that's a mistake, because the Angel should go behind the Dragon. Now he has two Dragons. <laughs> two Dragons in that lane, and he's going full force to try to... To kill me in one lane and uh, that's probably a good idea but uh, we try to hold on and to keep making damage in the bottom lane now it's using a vampire and another Hollow Knight so we have to, to take that back in the middle lane is now is in a good shape we have to go back and, and try to do something else dragon down uh, that blizzard helped us and now we can regain that Hollow Knight Very great game. I mean here and now Black Witch, but this yeah, it's good with that with that bomb and uh, Yeah, but we are by the castle We are by the castle and also that it's not enough, but it that was a good game. It was a great game actually done well done done and now the dawn uh, this guy is really strong I have no idea why he's so low in trophy um, I mean maybe this uh, deck is not affecting regular battle and here he's using something similar to our stuff like all big guys 
and it's level 12 so it's 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 really strong and let's see how he's gonna play that <clears throat> he has two mana ritual so he can start like big time maybe with the valkyrie i don't know if he's gonna do that oh he's trying slow with the, with the phoenix that's a good idea and dryad uh, it's fine but he's gonna do something else because he's an experienced player yes he's putting the in front of it uh, behind it but now that it's frozen we can take care of it with the black witch so you can't predict where the blizzard is gonna go where the fire is gonna go but you have to work around it okay now we take out the valkyrie and the archer queen and we attacking and now that level 12 a pirate level 12 a pirate we have to ignore it we can do something with the phoenix just because i have the gust of wind ready so i can push back and make my phoenix bigger and the uh, skeletons so it's gonna slow down that a pirate now let's take care of that vampire and uh, vampire my vampire to the executioner now we lost our phoenix unfortunately um okay blizzard on my vampire it's actually pretty good because she's not gonna die yet and we can use a, a vampire phoenix combo but now he's going with the dragon in that empty lane uh, blizzard on our phoenix it's fine and i'm using the blizzard <coughs> to make <coughs> oh sorry to make damage to that big dragon level four dragon guys now we have our dragon down against his uh black knight and we're good in that top lane now he has to go <laughs> in the middle lane two valkyries down and he has the black knight level seven very strong our dragon is out we have another dragon down let's try to take out that Valkyrie because that's key you see how easy he can get a dragon out even with low mana and now blizzard in the middle lane so we can kill the black knight the sorry that was the, the bottom lane and the middle lane is really strong there so I'm pushing back and that vampire is gonna probably die in time, yes. We are by the castle, but we're frozen, so we have to hope in the top lane. And that's enough. That was a good game. And now, last but not least, something very sad. Lopez Lancer, we saw this before in a couple of videos of mine. He was using Reaper. Like a very fast reaper with boneyard and stuff. Now he's using overtime decks. I understand that this mode it's perfect for overtime decks because you have uh, your spells and you also have random spells like random inferno to help you uh, kill all your opponents through. But guys, guys, I'm having more fun. I'm so surprised. Look, I, I see the fortify. I'm, I'm like surprised that he's using that. I'm having more fun than you, I'm sure, because I'm putting like the Black Knight out and the Dragon and everything else and it's uh, it's more fun to attack, I guess, I believe. I don't know what you think, let me know in the comments below. Shaman out, he has to guess, but the fire is gonna expose one shadow, one ghost, so we can put our Dryad there and the, in his guess is wrong. So he's regretting that choice. Vampire to take care of our dry. I say no. Go back. And now he's using Black Witch on my Phoenix. Oh, uh, my Shaman, sorry. But I bring him back. And now he's getting rid of the Shaman anyway. And he's using uh, arrows. And he's waiting for the arrows because he knows that he needs to have Inferno ready to kill the egg that's a very smart move he can use the arrows too quickly two vampires on the field and it's time to, to stop that valkyrie but there is big guys time big guys 
Ah, uh, it's good, it's good. I mean, he's an experienced player, of course, he knows how to deal with stuff. And now he's putting the Skull King out, but my Black Knight starts to do work. Twice Castle, and now he's finally lower in, in Castle health. And, uh, yeah, oh, that was unfortunate. We have to use the dragon, but I decide to use the dragon down because I have the phoenix coming, uh, taking care of that middle lane. Okay, uh, level 5, but there is the blizzard. Thank you, blizzard. So we can take care of that black knight. The phoenix is reborn. He's using arrows and more arrows. Very strong arrows. He's taking care of my shaman with one hit. So that's a very strong heroes. But now I have power of skeletons in that middle lane. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. And uh, the Skull Queen is protecting my Phoenix. It's doing work. Oh my god, another dragon. And he's getting back his health. It was 100 health points. Yeah, he used that. But no, no. I'm sorry, brother. No. <laughs> I'm telling you, Blizzard, you're, you're even lucky over there, it's stopping my dragon. But I'm stopping your dragon, and now it's over. So yeah, that was it. I'm gonna show you just one live game to, to close the video just for fun. Because people say, oh, he's just watching, he's not playing, he's just watching. No, I play also live games, but it's hard to, to talk and describe the strategy. Let's see, let's see live, because you like it so much. What was that? My iPad was going crazy? Okay. Fire and ice, let's see what this guy is running. It's 5.4, it's level 10, and it starts with the Jester, so I take out one Boneyard. I have another one, I play it. And uh, oh my god, so many skeletons by my castle. Uh, we have to use arrows. I mean, I wanted to wait for those two, but yeah, we have to take care of that before he's putting protection or something. Mmm, the phoenix. Okay, we should be fine over there. But wow, I didn't expect that. So now, I don't want to use... Okay, I didn't want to use the inferno, but... Uh, Caster Crash did it for me, and now it's moving again, so I'm using Inferno now, I'm saving my Phoenix, which will be reborn, and it ca can deal with this Phoenix. Oh, Blizzard! And he killed my Phoenix, but the Blizzard helped me out a lot there. So we were lucky, he's taking care of my Skull Queen and more Boneyard. We don't have time for the dragon, but that lane is protected, so let's take care of that with our weak <laughs> uh, Valkyrie. Two Valkyries, and now the Black Knight is four mana only, which is amazing. Mm, he's going one lane, trying to protect that Phoenix, but I think it's too late. It's moving down, but it's too late. It's too late for real. So yeah, that was the live game, um, so we can open uh, the victory chest, well deserved, and uh, let's see, come on skeletons, epic resurrection, and stone statue, nothing great, but 4 gems, well, it's something. So that's it for this video, let me get back to my so face. please take care, and... Good night if it's night over there. Subscribe, uh, watch, uh, yeah, subscribe here in the middle, there, in the mid, there, in the middle. I'm trying this thing, this new thing. I don't know if the, it works. Subscribe and also, um, yeah, tell your friends, whatever.